nah, whatever. Another day behind schedule. Uh, welcome to the life of building a car. It never gets done when it's supposed to get done and you're always behind schedule and it makes you never want to work on cars again. But that's why we love it, right? What's up guys? Welcome back to the shop. On this episode, we're going to address Project Prelude's doors in the Wangus area that they have that we just can't seem to work out. So, that being said, hopefully we're able to get those things done and completed in this episode and get them hung back on the car because it needs to happen. I'm getting burned out of doing body work on this thing. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let's get these doors done and get them put back on the car. What is up guys? Oh, it has been a long, long, long ass process to get here. We've got like a million feet of snow in the last couple weeks and it's colder than shit out and I uh, had a bunch of family in town. Just have not been able to get anything done out here. But last couple nights I finally got out here and we do have everything we got jammed the other week taped back off again got everything scuffed and ready to go minus the fenders i just don't have enough fender stands to get all that stuff done at one time so we're going to shoot these three items get them sealer tonight we'll wet set them tomorrow probably shoot them in another coat of sealer uh and then uh yeah start the painting process so we can get these things painted once we get them painted We'll get them hung back on the car or out of here, set somewhere, and then we'll paint the fenders, and we gotta do the sunroof, and we gotta do the bumpers, and the side skirts, and the mirrors, and then the, and then there's a lot of stuff to do still. So let's get some sealer mixed up. All right, so we're back. I've got everything sandblasted. I went and dug out the hood hinges. We sandblasted uh, shit this, I don't know, fall, whatever. Got this stuff all hung up. It's ready to go. So tomorrow night, we can throw some primer and some paint on it. Got the car all masked and plasticed off came in here got these guys all taped off and ready to go so this is all ready to spray so i can just come in here and bog a little paint on there and then when that deck lid's painted it's ready to go back on so that being said tomorrow night hopefully we'll get out here and we will trip on bumpers and stuff and uh yeah we'll get this uh this stuff painted so that when we get it done it's ready to be hung we can hang it right away. We don't have to wait to paint this stuff. So, yep, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, we are back. It's Friday night. It is 20 degrees out. We have a heat wave going on in Nebraska right now. So we are gonna mix up some sealer. We're gonna get these sprayed black primer. We are gonna spray that and we're gonna get this stuff sprayed so that when it warms up just a little bit more, we can paint the doors and everything and the deck lid and we can get it hung. So let's get some primer mixed up. Let's get this shit sprayed and let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are past the point of base coat and we got the uh, deck lid hinges, door hinges, hood hinges. Oh yeah, there's a moped part right there in base coat and we are ready to spray some clear. We got the clear mixed up. Let's go ahead and squirt some clear on this stuff. All right, buddy. All right, well, we got a singular coat of clear coat and everything. We got the uh, hood hinges over there and the trunk stuff going on. We got the door hinges, hood hinges, moped parts. I'm not worried about burying this stuff under five coats of clear coat because we're not going to wet sand anything. I just want it to be protected and shiny and black and look the same color as everything else. So that being said, ugh, we're going to keep hammering this stuff out. We're finally getting some warm weather next week, hopefully. Problem is we tore into mini bob. And now we're waiting for parts for that. So that's going to be in the way, but hopefully if we're still waiting for parts, we can get the, uh, the doors wet sanded and painted around Mini Bob because eh, whatever, doesn't matter. Got the fenders hidden underneath here. We'll probably paint the doors, the deck lid, and then paint the fenders at a separate date. So making some headway. We'll be out here tomorrow night probably wet sanding those doors in the deck lid and just kind of making some headway. Got to keep moving forward on these projects. There's so many projects. There's more projects than there is time in life to get done. So always got to keep making headway. So at that, we're going to call it a night and we'll see you tomorrow and we'll get some more stuff done later. What is up guys? So it's Sunday afternoon, just trying to kill a little bit of time here, working on Project Prelude and just trying to knock some of the stuff off the list that's been sitting there while we're waiting for it to warm up. Good news on the way, it's going to be 40-ish, 45 this week, so we're going to be able to start painting again, which is a thumbs up. So over here on the bench, I have the fuel pump out of the car. 
uh, pretty straightforward to take out. You undo the six uh, retaining uh, nuts, I believe they are, um, and then the retainer there, and there's a banjo bolt, and then a hose there, and unplug it. That thing pops out. It's just a rubber gasket that seals it, and uh, I have my new wine bro. 255 that I'm going to put in here. So I think we're going to go over that and get that knocked out real quick. I'll... All right, guys, it's the end of the night Sunday. We got the fuel pump in. We got the Winebro 255 back in the prelude. So this bad boy is ready to juice up when we get the motor put in. We wet sanded the doors and they are ready for another coat of sealer and we can paint them. We still need to wet sand the deck lid right there but hey the good news is it's going to be 45 degrees tomorrow so we're talking a freaking heat wave coming through nebraska so we're going to be able to paint this stuff we're for sure going to get the door and the deck lid painted and then we're going to get these fenders painted we've got bumpers we've got ground effects or side skirts whatever you want to call it lips don't have a hood anybody got a hood for sale i need a good hood clean hood really need a clean hood we still got the sunroof to do. There's a lot of little plastic that needs to be painted, so ton of work left to do, but hey, we're making headway. We're doing the little things, and they add up, and they keep stacking, and this car will be done sooner than later, so we'll check you tomorrow. What's up, guys? It's the next night. It's time to get these things wiped out and uh, get some primer mixed up because I want to get these things painted tonight. That is my goal, so let's get these things wiped out and get some primer mixed up. Okay, so this is less than ideal to be painting in here right now with a little mini bob in here. Uh, but apparently the parts for the engine I ordered are all back ordered. They're supposed to ship out hopefully the 5th of March. So about three weeks back ordered so far. So I did my best. We threw some plastic up on the ceiling, covered this up. So hopefully we'll keep the dust halfway down. Um, yeah, so got it all wiped out. It's drying now. Just gonna let that dry out and uh, we're gonna mix up some primer we're gonna splash a coat of sealer on this real quick we're gonna let that flash and then we're gonna start spraying black yeah all right guys sealers finally dry that took way longer than it should have but we're ready to mix up some paint and uh, yeah I know I always show you guys this but uh, oh so pretty all right, enough of the paint. All right, so I'm gonna get this paint mixed up and we'll start squirting a little bit on the car. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, some exciting news. Not really, it actually sucks. So once I got some shine on this, there is a weird line right in here, probably from where I was working this and I kind of beveled that up a little bit or didn't get it quite blocked down. It's not going to probably show up on the camera because it's very slight, but it's it just runs right along here and kind of dives off and goes where it's supposed to go. And then on the other side, it kind of ramps up just a little bit. It's very slight, but once it's really shiny, I think you're really going to notice it. And then again on this door too, it's not too bad right there, but there was you know, a weird a weird line right here i don't know what it's from it's just something right here in this area on both these doors didn't look right when i got it shiny so with the paint i got left mixed up i'm just going to go ahead and finish shooting the deck lid off because it looked good i didn't see any issues with that so uh, i'll probably try to clear the deck lid tonight or i'll do it first thing tomorrow and then we'll sand those doors and have to reshoot them another night Oh well, this is what we do. We fuck it up, we redo it. What's up guys? It's lunch today, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this with clear. I did not feel like clearing it last night. It was already midnight. Wouldn't have got done until like 1.30 or so. So the idea is to get that cleared right now so it has a chance to dry, so it can be ready to be moved out of the garage and touched um, by tonight when I get in here, so then I can start sanding these things. Try to get that wingus area straightened out a little bit. I don't know, maybe you can see it a little bit now that it's dry. Just right there. Ugh. 
you know, and again on that other door. So I want to get those sanded out and possibly get them painted tonight or at least get them back in base coat or primer or whatever, however far down we have to go. So that being said, I'm going to mix up some clear coat. Let's get this thing sprayed. All right, we got the deck lid over here sitting on the Chevelle. I flipped it over to strip the tape off the inside. It is just a little, a little soft still. It kind of put a little bit of a line right there, but not a big deal. It's got to get wet sanded. But this color, oh my God, I'm in love with it. It's amazing. That little blue flake is just what I wanted. It looks awesome. We're going to let this set up for a little while longer, probably this weekend. We'll be able to wet sand it. But I probably will try to get it mounted on the car tonight just so it's out of the way. I don't have to worry about uh, anything messing it up or getting knocked off of the Chevelle. Now the doors, that's a whole different situation. Hopefully these guys are dry, good enough to sand. Because yeah, tonight we're going to start wet sanding and block sanding and trying to straighten those doors up. Because I would so desperately like to get those things painted here this weekend. And get them hung back on the car. And this thing needs to start looking like a car because I am losing motivation. I am so tired of doing body work on this thing. These cars have a ton of parts. You got plastic bumpers, you got ground effects, you got sunroofs, you got fenders, doors, deck lid, spoiler, gas cap door. Uh, there's just a lot. Mirrors, door handles, duh, the plastic license plate feeler thingy. So there's just tons and tons and tons of stuff that needs to be painted, just tons and tons and tons of prep work. And it's getting to be a little bit uh, not overwhelming, just tedious and boring. So I'm ready to move on to the engine bay and start doing something a little different. Or just doing something different on the car because I'm starting to lose interest. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. We will uh, see you here in a bit when we get to uh, straighten those doors out. All right, guys, I've been sanding on this for just a few minutes here, and you can see this little diagonal right here, just a little low, and it just picked the light up just right when it was shiny, and it looked terrible. So I'm going to keep blocking this down into here like this. And I'm going to just work this whole area out until that goes away. And then do the same thing to the one that's on this side and that door as well. I'm not really sure what I did to make those, but they don't look good, so they gotta go. Nah, more sanding. <laughs> well, guys, not gonna lie to you, that did not go as planned. And guess what? We are back in high build primer. There just wasn't enough material in there to sand that little wangus out, so we had to uh, go ahead and put some more high build on it. On a side note, I did get that cleaned and sprayed in primer because I had a little primer left over. So, nah, whatever. Another day behind schedule. Uh, welcome to the life of building a car. It never gets done when it's supposed to get done, and you're always behind schedule, and it makes you never want to work on cars again. But that's why we love it, right? All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this one. So, yeah, the doors, thats uh, they did not turn out the way we wanted them to. That's for damn sure. Uh, we did get the deck lid cleared, so that's a positive. So hopefully we'll get that thing mounted here in the next couple days. And we can go from there on that. And we can fix these doors and maybe in the next week or so. Uh, maybe three days. Who knows? We can get those things straightened out and get those things painted. Get it put on the car and move on to the fenders. So right now, I just kind of want to cry my beer a little bit. Uh, but uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. We'll see you guys. Get out in the garage and get out there and work on your projects. Later.